Hi everyone, Sigflops in Islava here, also known as Assembly Assembly. So I'm sitting here listening to Dan Kaminsky talk in a panel uh, at the Next Hope, I think it's the Next Hope, in 2010. And uh, he talks about type safety. Um, well, not type safety, type checking. And, and converting and, and transferring information from one language to another language. Let me play that clip for you. I don't think even Jeremiah realized how significant this finding is. Because, you know, we've got some languages in here that are type safe, and we've got languages in here that are most assuredly not type safe. We're spending a lot of money on this safety. Where's the safety? This is a huge and massive and like, order of magnitude expenditure we're making. Why aren't we getting the safety we're paying for? Well, one thing to be clear about, we're not really actually using type safe languages, even when we think we are. The reality of web development is when you sneeze, you're in a new programming language. You got HTML, you got JavaScript, you got CSS, a little bit of XML, let's bust in some SQL. How about some PHP? Okay, now we'll do some C Sharp. Every time you move, it's a new language. All of these languages need to communicate with one another. And they all have their own type systems. They all have their own internal things. But when you need to have cross-language communication from PHP to SQL, from C Sharp to HTML, how does it end up working? It works through strings, just raw text. There's no type safety involved. There's no context involved. It's just, bleh, here's some programming. So uh, I wrote this, this program uh, a while ago, um, this hack really. It's a very, very small program called SQL SIG. The uh, link is down below. Um, what it is is a means to communicate um, PHP to SQL. And it's a means to keep a context in that communication. And so it's an actual SQL parser that looks at the sending message from PHP or Node.js, or whatever language you're sending the SQL query from, and uh, makes a parse tree out of it. And, you know, it, it has a, a context for it, a syntax context for it. Probably using the word context wrong, but it the, the message is checked against the same context of a message that is known to be safe. And so how I did this was uh, to have signatures, um, have a particular message, uh, create a particular parse signature that is uh, unique for its parse tree. And so the receiving and the SQL um, knows a known signature of a safe message and checks against the signature to see if it parses the same way. If you have uh, an SQL injection, you're parsing something completely different. Whereas if you have a message just with different variables, you're parsing the same thing. And so it's a means to check between languages. And I did an HPR episode on this. The link is down below. I don't, I don't think I got across what exactly it is. Um, I think Dan Kaminsky does a really good job getting across of what it is. So, yeah, that's my little program there. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.